welcome Salam back alaikum. to a brand new video. Salams, I hope you're all doing well. So yeah, it's been a minute since I last posted a video on my channel. It's been quite a while. It's been a while. But I've got a lot of stuff happening behind scenes. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, definitely follow me because I update I'm very active on my Instagram, so I update you guys all the time and let you guys was, uh, know what's happening. If you guys didn't know, I've actually um, kind of launched my new business in a sense. I'm a lash technician, basically, and I'm taking lash appointments and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that's basically... If you're interested, follow the her page, which is Lashes by Mina Chebby. Yeah, She'll I'll leave that link down, down below, there. yeah. And then follow her and DM her or email her if you want to book yourself in. Yeah, so I'm very, like proud of that because that's something I've been wanting to do for the longest time ever haven't yeah. I like I've no, told no. you about this for so long but I finally did it and I went forward with it and now I'm a lash technician so I'm very very happy so I'm doing that along YouTube along blogging along like so many other things so hence why I have been absent on my channel for a while so I hope that's yeah. okay but anyways um I asked you guys um last week to send in some Ramadan Q&A's because we want to do a q and I haven't done one with Adol for so long so oh, we it's, thought been while, eh? it's been very long so I thought you know what we're gonna do it today and we're gonna answer some of your Ramadan questions so how nice is the weather today it's really, so nice. really nice. Like, we went to do a photo shoot right now, didn't we? Yeah, we did. And then, which will be featured in the next video, which will be a Ramadan vlog. Um, we have been vlogging. A lot of people have been asking if we've been doing Ramadan vlogs. I haven't done daily Ramadan vlogs this year because, like I mentioned, I have a lot behind the scenes. Hmm. But I have been doing weekly vlogs. So the next video after this will be a weekly vlog, inshallah. So I've got quite a lot. Anyways, without this long ramble, I just wanted to come here and keep you guys updated and let you guys know what's going on. Let's but, get on with the Q&A. First question is, someone asked obviously regarding weight issues so do, what would you recommend to eat to lose weight in Ramadan mm, that's a very good question one thing I would say is avoid um, oily food as much as you can even though it's very tempting in it even though in Ramadan you want to have like samosas and you want to have I do like, miss samosas though don't yeah. lie you know them nice mint samosas chicken, not chicken. with green chutney okay we were just talking about losing weight <laughs> no, oh, <actually. right. laughs> So, one thing I would say is try to avoid any oily, sugary food. Mm. So, um, try to avo avoid it as much as you can because a lot of people, when they think of Ramadan, they think about samosas, spring rolls and all of that good stuff. But if you could try to avoid it as much as you can, I'm not saying avoid it completely because obviously you want to treat yourself. You've been mm. fasting for like, what, 18 hours? So treat yourself once in a blue moon, but not mm. every single day. Also cut out like carbs and stuff, like yeah. pasta, heavy kind of food and stuff like that. Which makes I you mean, very you can sleepy. Have it now and then, but yeah, it definitely made we know how sleepy. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't so. know because you know when we broke our fast, the first couple of fasts, we didn't know that carbs are gonna make you really sleepy. Yeah, literally. So we what did we make? Was it lasagna or yeah, it was yeah, lasagna. Yeah, lasagna. Oh and my then, god, we made lasagna and then we literally like I was like a zombie, I couldn't open my eyes. Yeah, we couldn't keep our eyes open. We're thinking, what the hell? <laughs> but because carbs like like obviously mm, you've really been fasting heavy. for eighteen hours or whatever. So when you have carbs. But the thing is when you're fasting as well, when you eat a little bit, you once just, you make, you're you full can't. anyway. Yeah, but this like fills you up so much so mm. much so that you feel so sleepy so try to cut out like so what, like what would what would we recommend what kind of food so i'd say say sometimes you know what we have like coriander and carrot soup yeah. with fresh baguette yeah like that is nice you can obviously season these we'll have enough for iftar today actually <laughs> yeah so that is light it's not calorific as well keeps you nice and full actually mm. keeps you quite good because you have fresh like, bread. baguette from uh what was it, asda yeah uh the tiger baguette nice and warm with nice Korean But like food. we mentioned, just have carbs sometimes because obviously bread is carbs. Yeah, yeah but, like, but just you don't have much with the soup in it. Yeah. And then after you finish off, just by eating a normal without it. Instead of having like sugary food like donuts, sweets and all that, try to have like fruit salad. Like that's really good. Or yogurt. Me and you are like proper snack person. We do enjoy we do enjoy a good snack. That's you know sure. the Max Crisp, the chili and lime. That's Adol's favourite. Oh my god, if I sit with that I will eat the whole packet. He, he could. Yeah, and I, have, I, have, I have as well. Before. In the past, I've seen it. He can literally sit there. <laughs> so things like that avoid. I, I, that's my guilty pleasure. Because so. when you once you start, when you start, you can't stop. We don't go to those aisles when we like. When we're trying to be good. We're trying. We to, avoid those. We're trying aisles. to avoid that back aisle. Yeah. In Asda. Because in our Asda, <laughs> I don't know about everyone else's Asda, but our Asda is like just like fresh uh, fruits. Then it comes to like milk and all of that and the then towards inside. the end it's all the crisp chocolate and stuff like that so we try to avoid the last Going few aisles the, just halfway through us yeah. the other side that's it <laughs> yeah so, so sometimes you end up walking there you just have to look down and walk like, back we don't know we don't want this right, so the next question is what do you this is a very good question what do you want to achieve this ramadan 
why I want to achieve this Ramadan is firstly I want to finish the Quran the whole Quran uh, by the end of Ramadan and also increase the knowledge of my deen that's one thing I want to do one thing I always say every Ramadan is that I want to finish the Quran but realistically it's really really hard unless you're like fluent in Arabic and you can read Arabic like so well um, then it'd probably be, it'd be a little bit easier for you but I can read it but like adults a lot better than I am but I can't write or do you understand it you know you don't understand it I understand some bits yeah. but I don't understand fully but obviously yeah. I try and find translations so I can as much understand as can, it yeah. Yeah. realistically my goal is always to finish the Quran but it's very 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 hard to finish and even though I begin the Ramadan saying I want to finish it but I never finish it so no, but then uh, but then uh, the Molana says it's not all about all is about fa reading finish fast. It. It's about Take even time. the better, the slower you read, the better because you read each makaraj like properly slower, slower. and uh, you understand it like that as well. So that's the best way. Yeah, but realistically, this Ramadan, I want to increase my no knowledge about my religion and about Islam and like learn more about it because there's so much that we may think we know but we really don't so like and i want to know and i want to learn about the hadith and the prophets and stuff like yeah. that like read i want to yeah read the books and then like watch documentaries and watch like mm. lectures and stuff like that that's what i want to do this ramadan like learn more about our religion because there's so much to it and we just know mm. the basics we may think that we know a lot but we just know the basics really who cooks you are the i don't let's be realistic <laughs> okay. let's like, be realistic i like my food and i like i'd love to be a chef if i could uh, no, I cook like most of the dishes because we'll say 90% of the dishes Adel cooks yeah she cooks nice food as well don't get me wrong she cooks nice I contribute to so, like I'll help him out but he likes to take control I like to I like to be uh, sorry in the car <laughs> and we're looking at the neighbours would be really nosy um, so I like to create, be creative and come up with new dishes because yeah. I'm one of them I can't eat the same thing over and over again because yeah. like at one point, we were eating pasta, lasagna, shepherd's pie. Pasta, lasagna, shepherd's yeah, pie. Yeah, on repeat. I was like, no, <laughs> yeah. we're not having this. So let's get a fresh thingy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's what that I cook the most. Uh, there's, there's nothing wrong in that, but I cook the most. Yeah. Someone's going to be like, eh, the husband cooks me. No, but what? No, listen, but the Prophet ﷺ used to help his wife out. Yeah. And we're living in 21st century. So if anyone thinks that 50, 50. The, the wife should be in the kitchen and the husband just sits and do nothing all day, Mm -mm. We do not believe in that. We do not believe in that. It's all about 50-50 in a relationship. We're living in 21st century and we're going to take after our profit. So if anyone wants to leave any hate comments, well, She bye. does make me tea all the time though. Tea? Yeah, because I say you're going to go but then you end up doing it. <laughs> I cook dessert, let's be real. Dessert and tea. Yeah, I make a good cup of tea. And obviously, it's... British. Loads of you guys ask about food. I swear this whole Ramadan Q&A is about food. You guys are hungry or what? <laughs> okay, so that, yeah, I think we answered this already. Are you guys doing daily Ramadan vlogs? And unfortunately, no, we're not because we have a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Like, Adol's yeah. doing a lot as well. And you guys don't see that, but he's obviously got his work and his career that he's he's focusing on. So he's he's really busy. I'm really busy with my new um, work adventure, my new um, business. business and stuff like that. So yeah, there's just so much, honestly. Like, mm. And obviously, I've been absent because to start a business it, it takes you have to put a lot into the business so you have to find a location you have to buy things you have to do so much that you need to do so we've been organization, really, isn't it? organization we've been buying a lot of things we've yeah so yeah yeah another food question you guys what, what's your favorite iftar dish so if you were to pick one dish and this is your last dish you could have for iftar what would you have I don't know because it's only day ten and uh, this is day ten of Ramadan and um, yeah, but it did, like anything that generally you your favorite dish you for would iftar. have for iftar, yeah. Um, I would say no carbs because we learned this Ramadan that carbs make you so tired. I have two. Do you? Yeah. I think I would have homemade pizzas because that turned out really nice. We made homemade pizza. You guys Yours will see that. Nice. Yeah, you guys will see that in our Ramadan vlog. Um, yeah, homemade pizza was really good. And I think I can answer that for you. What? You would love a halloumi burger. Mm. But we haven't tried it in Ramadan yet, so I don't know how I'm going to feel after our time of iftar. We should, though. We should, yeah. yeah. Right. My two favorite dishes will be one. I would love a nice piece of steak and chips mm. for iftar. That would be a nice grub yeah. for me, and uh, a nice big 
gourmet juicy fat burger which is this big but we just said a minute ago that we try to avoid all the food i know but i'm saying this is this is another question isn't it this is your favorite dish if you wanted the favorite oh, dish okay so that would be my ideal two dishes that i would love yeah burger chips and some uh Same. buffalo wings we do not get full would that fill you up though no really i would love that okay a nice juicy triple decker beef patty with melting cheese Burger Someone's hungry. Juicy, Someone's juicy, hungry. juicy burger Someone's with cheese hungry. inside the patty. Wow. Oh, yes. Okay, mine. I had to choose two, didn't I? So my first one, um, I don't think it would be a burger. Well, actually, maybe it's burger. Maybe it's halloumi burger, and the second one would be the paneer, the paneer. Paneer uh, tikka. Yeah, paneer tikka. Oh my god, I love paneer. Oh no, alu tikka cha. Alu tikka. Alu tikka cha. I love. If you know, if you go to Tipu Sultan, they have the alu tikka cha. That's her favorite. What's your favorite thing to do in Ramadan? My favorite thing to together, do together. Together is play Monopoly because obviously it kills time and yes. it's fun. And it's fun. And what happened yesterday? He Listen is. to this, guys. Listen <laughs> to this. Yeah, this one goes out first, round all around, and then she bought two sets of houses. More, the whole of red and the whole of green. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh crap, I'm gonna lose this game. You did lose a little bit. You were like. I was getting broke. Don't gonna lie. Then I was getting community chest chance giving me money left, right, and center, left, right, and center. And then he got went round and I bought one set, the yellow one, and I dashed three houses on there. Kill. And then KO. KO. <laughs> KO. <laughs> I was gone. Um. So yeah, he won. Anyways, <laughs> right. My favorite thing to do together is read Quran together. Oh. Doesn't Why do you have to be the good one in this one? Well, you know. No, our favorite thing, well, my favorite thing to do together is read the Quran yeah, so. because I, like, obviously, like I mentioned, Adol is a lot better than read the Quran than I am, like, mashallah. Like, he can read it a lot better, a lot faster. We fo yeah, follow each other, don't we? So, when he's reading it, I just follow him and we read the Quran together and I really enjoy it because, obviously, like, I know how it's pronounced then and all of that stuff as well, so. Yeah. That's Aww. what I don't like doing or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe our little naps. Us little naps. <laughs> Anyways, a little naps is cute. Anyways. Okay, so another question again is about food. What do you guys eat for suhoor? So me and I will eat complete opposite. We're very, very different in yeah. terms of suhoor. We're very different. So I, um, I'll have granola. Like I, I enjoy granola because I feel like it fills me up really well. So I'll have granola with fruit, cut up some dates. Like I'll have a good chunky bowl of granola, and I feel like that keeps me going throughout the day. Alhamdulillah. So, go on, tell for, them <laughs> what you have. For me, firstly, I don't like sleeping and then waking up and eat because my mouth feels weird, mm. and I don't like eating. Then and I'm just, I'll just have water or something small then. Yeah. Uh, but if I, well, most time I stay awake till yeah. suhoor. I will have aloo paratha. Any paratha, to be honest. Any paratha, but recently I've been liking this aloo paratha. It's really nice. And, and I'll have that with tea and then maybe some yogurt. No, you have the biscuits, let's be real. No, I'm saying the, with the paratha. Oh, yeah. Yogurt. Yeah, dip in yogurt and stuff. You know, the traditional Punjabi style <laughs> or Indian style, whatever the style is. Yeah, with that yogurt. Then I'll have tea. Then I'll have. Some biscuits. biscuits, biscuits on the side because you can't biscuits. have tea without biscuits. Because uh, I don't, f I don't like eating cold stuff at that time. Yeah, that's one thing about him. When he wakes up, he's like, or oh, if he's awake, I don't like eating cold. If it's stuff. night, he doesn't eat. He doesn't like eating cold things at night. And I, was like, I like warm things. So it's warming, warming me up when it's going in my body. Well, you can have porridge. How yeah, about we have that? porridge sometimes as well. Cut out the paratha. No, I love paratha. That's that's something I love. So that's why we're very like. Very it has good. to be nice quality paratha, not the cheap ones. Yeah, it has to be good quality. Yeah. So yeah, that's what we eat for Suhoor, guys. <laughs> let us know what you guys have down below. Yeah, let us give know us what some you have for Because I'm getting bored. Now give us some suggestions for Suhoor, because I'm for getting Suhoor, like... For Suhoor, yeah. Leave your comments down below. Also, for Iftar, any ideas, leave it in the comment section below. And also, if you want to mention your favourite dish, put it down there. Leave it down below. Let's put all share there. our favourite food together. Let's all share it together. Maybe we've, we'll come across something new we have yeah. never tried. You never know. So yeah. <laughs> Maybe different uh, cuisine. Never know. Oh, I miss a good curry. I miss. Oh I miss my god! Why don't, why don't you tell them the fail that happened the first day of Ramadan? <laughs> the first day of Ramadan. So yeah, we tried. Uh, we decided we we're gonna make chickpea curry. Which is what's it called? Chana masala. Yeah. Yeah. Let's say chana masala. <laughs> Obviously, you can't taste the salt. Of course, my husband cooked it because he cooks. <laughs> And this one ain't gonna let this go in it. <laughs> it was so. so like, I can't taste it. Obviously, I ain't gonna lie. It was pink. Yeah. It was amazing. It turned out so good. 
but <laughs> the salt intake was no. I think you know what was you know what happened. Yeah, you know the seasoning packet. I think that was already salty, and then I put a little bit of salt on top. Oof. That's why it was so salty. It was so salty. But I finished it though. We c I could. I couldn't. I was like, it's salty, nah. but the flavor was nice, wasn't it? Flavor is beautiful, just minus the salt. Like it was the first day of Ramadan as well, and then he was like, oh, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry." I'm like, "It's fine," because you can't obviously can't taste. But yeah, yeah, that was a fail. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I feel like in Ramadan everyone's gonna have one salt, you know one I fail. Miss? You know what, what I miss? The lamb, Sh lamb shawarma. Shawarma. Okay. shawarma, adma shawarma. If you're watching this, please open for iftar. I know. I beg you, and then we can come and eat. It's a Lebanese restaurant, by the way, guys. If ever yeah, if ever you guys want Lebanese food, yeah, go Adma Shawarma. In it's in town behind County Hall. Well, Google Lesson. it. Adma Shawarma will tell you where it is. It's beautiful. And it's cheap and cheerful, and it's so nice. The food's lovely. I get falafel and, and Lebanese rice, and oh my. God. Okay, the last question is: What do you guys do during your fast? So, like, what do you do when during you fast? the day? Yeah, during the day. Okay. So, obviously, if we're not working, um, obviously, if we're not working. More or less, we're home. Let's be real. Yeah. Um. Or we'll be out just to take like photos for me for like again. That's we go work, for a stroll that's, now. Then. That's work related. Yeah, but we go for a stroll now. We go for strolls now and then, not too much because mm. it's hot. Kids, it's really now. hot now, and you get so thirsty and dehydrated. So the first week was perfect because yeah. it was cooler. It was, it was hot cold weather, fast. and now it's like freezing. now it's like so hot. It's eighteen degrees. So one thing we do when we're fasting is, I would say, we watch documentaries. We love watching documentaries, horror documentaries, anything that disturbing. We love watching it. <laughs> we're so messed up. Serial killer documentaries. Serial killers. These that mysteries, people are killers in nineteen fifties or finding people. Like that. What happened to this person? We love watching stuff like that. Police so, investigation or uh, cops getting knocked out. Yeah, like all of that stuff. Reading Quran, like I said, together we like watching documentaries. Together, play Monopoly. We like yeah, doing that. Monopoly. That kills a good couple of hours. Yeah. So if you wanna, it takes long, isn't it? Yeah. So if you wanna like kill a few hours, play. The more people, the Monopoly. more longer yeah. it'll be, isn't it? Um, that's kind that's, of the basic that's, that's, stuff yeah. that we do: watch documentaries, watch lectures, and um, we love to listen to nasheeds. So we blast nasheeds in the house, and then we like clean the house together or cook together when we're doing it. So like, there's quite a lot of stuff to do. Right now, we're trying to do the garden a yeah, bit, bit, garden. bit by bit. So okay, guys. So that is the end of the Q and A. I hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed this it. video. This Q and A was a very long Q and A. Long, yeah. Like we are just in that mood of ram. We just we want to ramble, ramble yeah. to be honest. If you like the video. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up and leave your comments down below. Yeah. Uh, give you suggestions, whatever, like we said earlier. And uh, if you're not subscribed yet, please Let's subscribe. Subscribed. Share it to your friends and family. And Ramadan Mubarak to everyone. Yes. And hope your Ramadan is going well. Inshallah. And we shall see you guys really soon in the next video. Peace. Salams.